Good morning and good afternoon or good evening, whatever time frame you are at. At the moment, we are currently at about seven o'clock, I would say, in the evening in Wales, and we are the Real Wrestling Show Dash Blog. And we're the Real Wrestling Show Dash Blog for what we believe to be the Real Wrestling Show AEW. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages above the ages of 15. Still got a little bit of a delay. We proudly bring to you <laughs> the best wrestling blog tag team champions in the world. We got we got the brilliantly beautiful Beastie Bigsy with the boldness, and we've also got the phenomenal Dozy, and together we make up the real wrestling show dash bloggy o in the same room, motherfucker. Yes, for one, three. Eight. And what we do on here is we do a review of Dynamite and a review of Rampage, Dorsey will do, and I will just talk along to it. And uh, yeah, that's what we do. We've got a couple of other videos that we have got, which is being the greenhouse and... Which is finished. We've uh, discontinued. Yes, the final go and watch them. See yeah. some angriness towards the end there from Big Z. Yes, definitely. Big Z's episode is definitely funny. They're definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Um, also, we have Merchandise Memoirs Series 1. We are going to be talking about Merchandise Memoirs 2 tonight. Yes. Discussing uh, what we're going to be doing going forward. Yeah, definitely in the making. And we've got some little bits of animation coming, which I'm starting to get some good ideas together now. I don't um, want it to just be thrown together too quick. We're going to also be dropping a total non-stop talk soon on one big part of the news, which we'll be kind of touch on in the news and movies later on the show. That we shall do us. That we shall. <laughs> that we shall, baby. That, that we, we shall. shall. We shall move on. Well. So we're going to kick it off with um, another... Sponsor from Doors being a promo to start Dynamite, uh, which was CM Punk in the ring doing his pipe bomb. It is sponsored by you since you said it. It's become a thing, now, don't you? <laughs> CM Punk doing his pipe bomb. I am CM Punk. 20 years ago, I said that I was better than you and you know it, blah blah blah. So MJF is stealing the whole CM Punk's notion, which I didn't actually clock onto that. Lots of uh, people aspire to be me. They aspire to be like me, says so CM Punk. Uh, I challenge you to a dog collar match, which for the life of me, when he pulled the chain out, I was like, ah, what's it fucking called? What's it fucking called? <laughs> I knew and then exactly he was like, ah, dog right, collar. Right. And I was like, write it down. Um, I was a bit like, oh, these, oh, I think it'll be good, man. It will be good, mate, but these two guys, I can see them doing like other matches, a dog collar match, I wouldn't pin on them too, I feel It's just the whole get away from me now, though, MJ. Mm. That's the whole thing. There was. It was either that or the... Um, the cage match which you talked all about. No, the wrist bell. Oh. Cowbell. Cowbell match. See, I would have yeah. preferred that. It's the same thing though, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just this ramps it up a tiny bit, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, for um, porno fans. For porno fans. MJF comes out uh, after Punk says that he must be out the back pissing his pants, which I thought was quite funny. MJF comes out, uh, pulls out a picture of MJF and Punk says, the amount of, that you paid for this picture is nothing compared to what you're going to pay for at Revolution, which yeah. I thought was another beautiful little line up. MJF had that fuck all to say. Um, Brilliant promo. Brilliant great promo, promo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It went on a little bit long, but pretty Again, good. TK's listening to someone. They are listening to Dozy. <laughs> <laughs> give me a job already. <laughs> us. Us. Yeah, I'll give you one, don't worry. Fuck you. <laughs> it's my enthusiasm that keeps them fucking watching. Yeah, Greenhouse says otherwise. Fuck Greenhouse. <laughs> Greenhouse is shit because it's ever elevation and dark, mate. Right, let's move on. Next up, we had a promo with Brian Danielson. Build with Mox and then... Recap promo, mate. Yeah, recap, basically, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Re recap, like, take that off and put it back on again. Ribini. Yeah, I was going to say Ribini. Ribini! That sounds like a cool like Brazilian footballer, isn't it? And here goes Ribini! Scuttle! <laughs> yeah. I'll be taking on these finishing moves now in weeks. Uh, yeah, it wasn't anything spectacular this promo. I don't no. know. So, some like I know they add like a couple of words, like or a couple of like sentences to, to make the promos a bit more. But for me, it's just like what? it just ended up with the with the final say, which is good. A couple of points. Yeah, yeah. I don't team with no one into that bleed room. Well, no, that's that one. Uh, that one. That one. Eh? Yeah, well, it was the end of it was a recap promo, yeah. and it was that's the end of the thing he said to him last week, which is part of the recap. Why have I only written? No, 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 no. No, you're wrong. Me. I'm not wrong. There was a whole thing after this match, man. Who did Brian Danielson for? Yeah, yeah that wasn't even happened. Yeah. Exactly! <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! That's anyway, it. moving on. It was Jurassic Express and Christian promo. Do we even call them that now or are they just Jacks? Well, they've it's always Christian. been Jacks. No, yeah, but Christian's there. Like, 
with him now. He's basically mad from the Jackstian. 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 It's quite a long thing though, isn't it? Jackson Cage. J I don't know. Jage. <laughs> no, Jade might get jealous of that. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Jage. <clears throat> ja Jackson Christian promo basically saying we're not losing these high titles. Battle Royale, Battle Royale. Yeah. Which I quite love the Why why is that? Not why you look like <laughs> Why is it about well? Why, why, where's all that come from? I don't know, I think it's just the revolution thing. It's just become like a whole thing of like, right, there's a ring. With a ring above the ring. So we've got a ladder. So we're, <laughs> now we've got a battle royale. And now we've got another battle royale. We can use the dynamite ring because that's what we use later. Probably a more important question. Why is Christian the person that's giving out all this information all the time? Like, why is Tony Khan not doing his job properly? CK, we love you. Do you know what I mean like give us an awesome show? But like, do your job, man. They need they need some else other than Jericho to do it. Or Tony Shivan. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can see again! <laughs> <laughs> they talk about I can see the light. That's all I could fucking see. We're just taking some light off there. Um yeah, it says about the Battle Royals. I don't know where that come from. They come from somewhere. Not Tony Khan though, apparently, probably. Again, the Christian to say it though. And then we uh oh yeah, that first match. Yeah, take it away, mate. Take it because, away, bro. Uh, you've got more dynamite. You've got oh, more rampage, okay. so you might as well. Uh, we dynamo. had Brian Danielson versus Lee Moriarty. Good match, I thought. Uh, Sabrina, the TJ, teenage, uh, middle-aged woman, the witch in the Melissa crowd. Melissa Joan Hart, known for a lot That's more than Sabrina, the teenage witch. She's hot, mate. But primarily known for Sabrina, the teenage witch. And uh, Melissa and Joey. Sick display from Brian Daniel in this match. Absolutely fucking awesome. So yeah. I guess who my man of the match is going to be. Uh, Brian punches, uh, punks out Lee early on with a handshake. Brian working a leg into the surfboard was nice, but it wasn't the surfboard. It was the opposite one. Bow and arrow. Yes. We'll always, I always mix it up the yeah. two. Um, kick on the ropes by Brian that was quite nice, where he was like kind of held out in front and he just fucking walloped him in the face. That was very, very cool. Got a moment for me. Uh, then kneeing him in the face, hanging off the ropes, which is what I was just actually saying. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Daniel sh shouting violence during his kicks. Violence! Whack! Uh, European uppercuts by Lee, then Brian Daniel European knockdown with his European uppercut. So, be it a few, Brian Danielson just hit one and knocked him on his ass. Uh, on his ass! Head suplex by Brian Danielson. When I say that, it's a headlock suplex rather yeah. than a locked in arm. Yeah. Which is very nice, probably does a stretch on the neck quite nice. Lee lands on his head. Uh, <laughs> sick how they were tied up by the legs when uh, Lee Moriarty went for the pin, first of all, or a leg lock, and then they kind of turned upside down. Like I, I've got a shoulder two capture dogs fucking. suplex by BD into uh, like a, a triangle, like a leap out um, upside down spider submission. Yeah. With, and then they started drawing each other. Started during, punching each other. During the submission. Yeah. It was sick. Uh, well, all I could think of though, right, when they first like kind of got all locked up and they were like, ah, like I just thought, oh, they look like two dogs like, that like, are fucking and the dog can't get out, like, do you know what I mean? We've all seen that, like, do you know what I mean? When a dog gets stuck inside a, a, a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the bitch runs off and the dog's like, ah, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> still connected by his, a <laughs> fadongo. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But they're, yeah, they're hanging upside down like uh, little spiders. Can't remember where the fuck I am now. <laughs> the bell lock by RB. Who's RB? BD. Who's RB though? The bell lock. Oh, rope break. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Strange back suplex. Back and forth euros. Back and forth elbows. Sloppy clash by. Uh, they had a bit of a sloppy clash. Lee. Then it's a belly belly. That was a weird transition. I was yeah. on the match run. Uh, Lee cross face reversed into a pin, leg snap catch a German by by Brian Daniel. That was fucking incredible. Yeah, that was like when Kenny Omega first started doing his uh, snap Germans. It was like oh that's snap dragons. It's snap dragons. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It was like oh that's incredible. Like but this it was like just one up in it easily. Like do you know what I mean? I said bro, Brian Daniel mate, like has been fucking underutilized by WWE massively over the He's last incredible. Years. He's incredible. And every man. time I text you, like I said, it was like Radio Styles, Brian Daniel, Cesaro. And if you don't know that information, it's on every single blog <laughs> since Brian Daniel's been in AEW. Running knee by yes! Brian Daniel, tri yes! triangle choke yes! finished whilst posing like this. Yes. 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 So yeah, uh, Brian Daniel wins. I won with Brian Daniel, man of the match. Agreed. Sick display from Daniel Bryan. 
Brian Daniel, da Danielson. <laughs> Some great spots in this match, and I had seven moments. And I had a booker. Do it! Five times! Five times! Five! I'm not doing this for You've got to do it. You got I Why not? We've got the room. We're in the same room. I'll help we you. We have not got this room. There's a big ass table in the way in here, which you can't see with like all sorts of. Nothing else. Very much not. Let legal. me stop you there. Do you feel that? It was a bit of that. Uh, anyway, after the match, Brian Danielson says. Did Lee pass or did he fail? Says, I want an answer from Mox. Mox comes out. Mox says, I was like Lee once. I remember when I first faced Brian Daniel. I never beat Brian Daniel. But then Brian Daniel don't want to fight. I could be joining up. But is it because you don't want to fight me? Or because you're scared? Mox says, I ain't saying yes. I ain't saying no. But if you want a team with me, you got to fight me, brother. you got to be with me. Yeah, that's where I fucked the fear. Yeah. I confuse you, in it. I don't know. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, 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 yes, you did. Very nice promo, man, after the match. Yeah. Mox doing his whole, I don't know, like, like he's about to turn into Voldemort or something. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, yeah, seven moments, Brian Daniel for me. Was it Brian Daniel for Brian you? Brian Daniel yeah, for me, me and a booker. Yeah. So, yeah, moving on. Brilliant match. You got anything else to say about it? I thought it was a, I thought it was a brilliant one. No, I thought it was a brilliant match. A great exposure for Moriarty. Yes. Brian Daniels, and every, even though he's having these great matches, he's having them with everyone. And so everyone looks good coming yeah. out of him. I like the whole, <coughs> I hope to like whatever the saying is. I think I just made it up. You heard it here first. I hope that, like, Brian Daniels is in the back and he's, like, seeing the training. And he's kind of seen like Lee Moriarty and he's like, I he's got a good energy and I think I could elevate him at the moment as he is. I like very much think he's doing a rough play. Rather than someone telling back him. in the day, yeah. going right. I can see something in him. I yeah. can see something I in hope him. that's the case and not someone going, oh, this guy needs a push now, bro. Can you go and work with these? Because I know that's happening as well. I think they've they asked people to work with Jade, haven't they? Have they? Yeah, unfortunately. But it can only make it a better wrestler. Mm -hmm. Because she is getting better, and I'm not going to deny it, mate. Do you know what I mean? But I yeah. don't really like the female Roman Reigns, though. I don't like it. But anyway, let's move Gold on. Bid. Let's female move on. Bid. On! I don't okay. even like the male Goldberg, so why would I like the female Goldberg? That Dan has not very nice guy either. Next up, we had a Kupalu promo. Uh, pretty decent, saying what I've already seen. It could have been on like WWE. Like this, all the way through, though. Could have been on WWE, like, I mean, it could have been one of them promos. It's nothing special. Now the promo. Nice. More... Sorry, go on. Come it in. was nice. Like, don't get me wrong, but it could have been on Raw, and I wouldn't have known any different after mm. me. Have you noticed now, though, now that there's more and more WWE X, WWE, or WWE previously trained, let's put it that way, right? Because they're not Keith WWE wrestlers. not previously trained, though. No, but he's been in that training facility, and it's almost like they've come out of there with a way of doing a promo that just doesn't feel... Natural. Yeah, it, does, it feels like... Like the character is <clears throat> in a promo, thing, is, it's got to be more. Thing. Keith Lee came was like a big name when WWE signed him on the Indies already. It's not like like a basketball player that's like, just mm. been brought in. Like, I mean, he is a wrestler. Mm. He's a wrestler, of wrestler. He made a massive name on the Indies. I don't know yeah. too much about him on the Indies. I'm not going to lie, but I know he wrestled amongst many promotions. Um, you know me, mate. I was an early fan of NXT. Yeah. I watched it the other day. Fuck me, it is awful. Um, anyway, I said it's got, it would... the colours, it's got the colours of this though. <laughs> yeah, but like I said to you, <laughs> it would be the moment they went on TV. Mm. I said it didn't matter with it whether it was AEW that was there or not. The moment it went on TV, Vince's fingers are going in the foot and the fucking earth. Yes, absolutely. I didn't know much about Keith Lee to be honest. I know a little bit about what you told me. But again, like you've just said, you didn't know a great deal. But what you told me was like, yeah, you've, you've sold him pretty well. Like, do you know what I mean? Know him a little bit because of me or him. Yeah. Or AKA the real Jade. Yeah. Um, oh, we should do a fucking, we should do like a campaign to get the real Jade back. Oh, that'd be sick. Um, yeah, I knew a little bit about him for that. And obviously the whole leaving and there being a lot of hoo-ha behind him, like I mean, so. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I quite like him. I gotta I, be fair, I, I like, like his me. persona. I like the fact that he's like, now not to sound racist or not to sound fucking like, wrong politically or whatever yeah, I know it was fucking ridiculous like but like old people right yeah old people have kind of got that yeah he reminds me of your granddad yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? yes like, like, yes yes from 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 growing up like I, I like I've seen he's a lot of old man. man he's like a wise old man like yeah. but it's like 
that wise old black man. You know what I mean? Like that you'd see, like he's Morgan seen Freeman. Films. Yeah, kind of like no, not kind of Morgan Freeman. Like it's like I've seen many of films like where you've just got that old guy that's kind of there, and he's like he's the wise one that sees all the hood rats running around doing all their gang banging shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and you've got this old guy who's like, yeah, I've been there, I've done that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like that is now like just he's out of it and he's happy and he he knows what's going on, but he knows not to interfere because he's been there and he's lived there and he's like. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. He just he comes across like that, like, and I think what well, you said, the 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 grandpa. Yeah. But do you know what I mean like, and it's yeah, like the, the reason I said a wise old man. Yeah, uh, it it does. And the reason I said I don't want to be racist is it's just my my memory of things I've seen in films, and I can't think of one for right now at the moment. Like, but it's like I don't want it to come across like oh well yeah you're you're being this because you're talking about blacks. It's not. It's like. It's a reference to something I've seen in the past. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, so it's not... He's like uh, the dude from fucking uh, the, the thing, Matrix. Morpheus. No. No, he's not, man. I, I'll, I will think. I will think. He's just going to come... He's going to be during Rampage. He's going to go... <laughs> it's him! <laughs> yeah. It's like Uncle Phil, man. Do you know what I mean? Uncle yeah, Phil. Yeah, Uncle, Uncle Phil. Well, there's a perfect Uncle example. Because at the moment, he's been linked to him quite a bit. Like, yeah. I mean, but Uncle Phil, he's got that wiseness. He's got that, like... All right, you know, it's all about Prince of Bel-Air, blah, 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 blah. He's a rich dude, but... Still, like, you know that growing up, they would have probably had that tough upbringing yeah. and seen a lot of shit, like, do you know what I mean? Like, got a lot of wiseness, like... Well, not being, not, that's not being racist, it's just the fact is, during the 90s and the earlier days, in our days, blacks weren't accepted as well as they are now. It's still not absolutely. perfect. No. But back in the day, it was fucking horrible for it. Yeah, it fucking was, absolutely, man, and it should, so, should never have been. That's what... But his character comes across, like, such a loving, like... Like you, like you wouldn't want to kill a bear. He's that guy. That it, sounds he's horrendous. He's the guy that owns the, the local barbers or the cafe, which yeah. everyone goes to and yeah. respects. Yeah, everyone goes to him and they're like, oh, you know, I've had a, I've had a terrible day. Like, and he, yeah. without even telling him you've had a terrible day, he's already made you a cup of tea and give you biscuits. Yeah, yeah. that type of guy. Like, yeah. you know what I mean, like, and you know, he would give you a hug if you needed one. He just seems so happy and so wit, like whimsical. But he's, he feels like he's got so much wisdom. Wisdom, it, like, I've only seen him twice, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, and this is this is the feeling I got on the guy. Like, do you know what I mean? I'd so yeah, was, absolutely brilliant. He was beast in NXT. The moment they sent him to the main roster, like, oh, it always is. So yeah, I do apologise if I've come across like an absolute twat there, but that's nah, that's you didn't, bro. Honestly, mate, if he was, I would have told you to cut the tape and edit it. Fuck that twat. Cut the tape and edit it. <laughs> Next up we had What oh this is Max Caster. That's normally Bixie's bit. Yo but, uh, Listen Yo Yo Listen, listen. Decent rhyme. Right. Yeah, decent decent right. Right. It was a good rhyme. They always had me. I'm not gonna lie, Max New all inclusive referee for this match. Was that? Well yeah. We had a new referee, I don't know who the fuck he is. Black guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> well I say it like all inclusive because at the moment it is all about like it goes on about oh not being racist. No, I'm not being racist. New referee, black guy. It's not racist. <laughs> it's not. It's not racist. But at the moment, African American, African American, whatever, black man, African American. That's as far as I want to go and say, right? <laughs> but ultimately, at the moment, there's a lot of okay. It being pulled anyway, into AEW. no, I'm talking. <laughs> there's a lot of it being pulled into AEW at the moment, and I'm getting a bit, a bit pissed off with it to be honest. There's now a black referee. There's got to be like black representation and black. It's like we're all people. Just just fucking get people yeah, to accept in a that. Not racist way. Everyone is Get everywhere. people to ex- yeah. Everybody are people, like. Do you know what I mean, yeah. we're no different because of the color of our skin. We are all fucking equal. Just be nice to one another. <laughs> skin color doesn't mean fuck all. Piece to that. They really don't like him. I'm, I'm just anyway, getting a bit fed up with this thing, all inclusive shit. This like. is for, he's fed up the snowflake era, basically. Yeah, Everybody fucking techie toeing about everything too much, which I agree with, by the way. I might edit some of this out. I probably won't. No. <laughs> he won't. <laughs> um, World Bill Bits of Max Caster. Nice rhyme. Black Check referee. Rhyme. South Check African rhyme. American referee. Whatever you want to say. Uh, overhead Can I call him a South African referee? <laughs> South American. Uh, African American. African American. Whatever. Come on, fucking... <laughs> oh, fuck it. I've had a few beers. I'm smoking. Come on. Just move on. Seven races. Overhead belly to belly by Wardlow. Caster utilises the steps on the outside. Then a backdrop on the apron gets a one count. One. 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 Uh, Bowen pulls Caster out with the symphony, then uh, passes Caster the chain on the sly. Spears does fuck all. Then Spears distracts the ref, which enables Caster to nail 
uh, World Over the Chain gets a two count uh, after the mod drop as well, by the way. <coughs> Beastie Power Bomb Symphony on Caster. I will good. say one thing. There was a terrible spot when Caster, uh, Max Caster grabbed the legs of Warlo, Wardlow. Yeah, and he kind of like as he was coming back in, he turned around like that, and he, he had to like wait and pause for yeah. Max Cassidy. I was really nice and didn't Bowen, that sorry. down, but Dixie did so. Anthony Bowen, sorry, grabbed his leg. Yeah, but yeah, I thought that was pretty bad. Uh, Wardlow man of the match for me, zero moments. Uh, Wardlow man that wins, Wardlow man of the match. I had two moments. God damn it, no, they were two of those with power bombs. Probably. Uh, after the match, Bowen's attacks. Powerbomb by Wardlow. <coughs> Spears does nothing to help at all in the attack and then the attacks with a chair after. Mm -hmm. Which is all leading up to Wardlow basically going schizo. I think he's going to win the fucking ring thing. Mm. And uh, the then MJF's going to go give it to me and he's going to go no. And then Cody Rhodes is going to come back and hire him. That's my right thing. Oh shit. Oh um, shit. Yeah. It's, no, it wasn't so damn good. Right, got a pen. Write that down. 23 minutes. I, I do have a pen. Yeah, but I don't have any more. I need more shoes on. Well, can't you pause it? No, because it'll. I'll, I'll edit it after you show it now. No, but you I should pause it because it might not go, but. That's oh, fine. Well, I can do. But well, I should go move the actual thing. Now. Sensitive screen, man. Sensitive. Where we at? The snowflake from what you expect. <laughs> right, we'll have to. I'll do. Well, Alright, we'll have to pause and then go straight into all we are. So, what we got next then, bro? Uh, Brookbreaker and Martinez promo. Senshi says, finish her if she loses. Talking about Martinez. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure who the Senshi guy is. Cobra Kai. I was going to say, uh, Tony mentioned Cobra Kai is he from Cobra Kai is he? Yeah. He is Great. from Karate Kid. He was the bad guy, Jim Owner. From the original Karate Kid. Yeah. With uh, Danielson. Yeah. Brian Danielson. He was uh, <coughs> Mr. 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 Miyagi. No, he wasn't Mr. Miyagi. He was no, the bad guy. The op op opposite to yeah. Mr. Miyagi. He was Brian Danielson! Doing a crane kick and shit. I thought I recognised him, but I was again like, well, if I recognise you and you're a wrestler and being not a wrestler. It's, that's off. quite big, mate, because it's quite popular. I know it's so popular, mate. Good, people good for people. AEW, not so much for me. <laughs> yeah, basically. Because I'm not fucking interested in karate kid, because I got other things to watch. And even if I was interested in karate kid, I watch karate kid for karate kid, and I watch AEW for AEW. Yeah. And other than that, we work. <laughs> yeah. So next up, we had a promo in ring. Hangman in the ring, interrupted by Adam Cole. Bay, bay. Bubba. Uh, bigs up, Hangman. Hangman says, how did you feel when the Bucks started a revolution without you? So I thought it was a nice little thing. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, Cole says, Hangman is just another Adam compared to me. And then Fish and Bobby attack after he tries to make it all legitimate and all that. It was a good promo. I thought, well, this has got to be something fucking dodgy. Or like, yeah. And then Fish and Cole, uh, Fish and... O'Reilly attack, and then the non-feds come out, <laughs> and Baron Black. <laughs> uh, then the Dark Order come out, and then Ten cleans house for no reason whatsoever. Cleans the non-feds out, and Baron Black. The bill for Rampage, that's what it was. Yeah, why, why was Baron Black a non-security guard? I don't know. Baron he's... Black is a sick wrestler, man. Why is he a fucking security guard? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. Team him up with... Sean Dean and Charlie Bravo, Carly Bravo? No. Carly Bravo? Yeah. He's sick, man. Him and Sean Dean together, man. They're cool. Yeah, but Carly Bravo or something, yeah. Yeah, he's, he is a little bit meh, but he, he suits well with the group, man. He could get better. Yeah, I know, but we could have better. someone else over there, man. We could have him with, like... Private party! No, like, joining Lee Shotty's group. With no, Anderson. no, no. They're not big enough for that. Um, anyway. That's about <clears throat> yeah, it was a good promo. Which was um, Daddy and Sammy G hype promo. Oh, dude, where is your hype? Oh, shit. Mine's in a car. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. What do you have next? Uh, yeah, Daddy and Sammy G hype promo for the main event. 
And the next match was Jericho and Hager versus Santana and Ortiz. Good match. Brilliant match, I thought. Lots of heel stuff. Uh, well, Eddie, yeah, the good guys. Eddie Kingston comes up. <laughs> It's on AEW all the time, but yeah. it's not even a thing now. It, it kind of does, but I wouldn't expect this so much from Jericho <coughs> and Hager in a match, in a group setting. That makes sense. Yes and no. Got yes, this, but then no. Jericho got disrespected, bro. So. He did get respect, disrespected, disrespected, but is the group dead? I would like to see it come out the end of this and then still be Plus, a team. you know, me and you are boys. There's a re- one reason why you never battle rap me. Because you're like, I don't fucking trust you, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, then. <laughs> Come on! Eddie Kingston comes out, which was obviously going to happen, but a huge elevation. I didn't fucking see it coming. I thought, I knew it was coming, but it still worked, perfectly. Yeah. Anyway, Jericho sold it wicked. Uh, kidney shot DDT moonsault combo by PMP, which is Brown Um Dodgy. Or it's needing to go away, and then needing to go away again. Dodgy pop up slam pin by Jericho and Ortiz. Uh, that doesn't make sense. It must be Jericho and Hager. Unless yeah, they were doing the match on each other, the move on each other. Uh, belly to belly pro, then a Hager bomb gets two count for Hager. Cold breaker by Jericho. Big power slam by Hager gets two. Santana and Ortiz. Russian egg sweep off the rope. That was nice. Counters the lion <coughs> top. Which was beast. Yeah, very good. Uh, Santana and Ortiz hit the street sweeper on Jericho and get a two count. Ortiz does a dive onto Hager as well. Oh, great. Bit of a thought. Jericho counters the cannonball into a Boston Crab. Sick, yeah. Hits the, the lion tamer Jericho walls. A no, Boston it's a Boston Crab. crab. <laughs> uh, Eddie um, coaches Santana to the rope. Jericho takes out Eddie Kingston. Santana hits a discus lariat. Santana and Ortiz win. Jericho man of the match. After the match, Jericho goes for Eddie. Santana. For me. And two moments. Oh, yeah, yeah. High yeah. rating. High rating. I had a week off this week, so they're going to be high ratings. I enjoyed life. Yeah, Jericho, man, was doing um, lots of healy stuff, man. I, I felt like... If there was a dispute amongst the group, you wouldn't necessarily be doing heel stuff even if you were pissed off. But it's like it... if me and you ended up having a scrap or whatever, like I wouldn't necessarily like dirty tactic you. Do you know what I mean? Like not as the leader anyway, like do you know what I mean? Mm. <clears throat> Jericho style is wrestling is that as well, actually. Mm, I do don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like it. Even when he was a good guy, a baby face, he was like like how can you be a baby face called I know it was Stephanie McMahon, everyone hated her, but at the end of the day we still come up calling a beautiful young 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 teenage girl a trash bag hoe. She is a trash bag hoe. Yeah, well obviously. And her dad is a trash bag asshole. Fuck Vince. Fuck Vince. Just have to get that in there. Next up we had a promo, Bucks and Adam Cole <coughs> and Red Dragon. And oh, the cut the camp. Arguing about kids. Cole doesn't know which way to go after when the Bucks go left and the other two go the other way. And he's like, oh my god, oh my god, I want to just have a five son. <laughs> uh, and Brandon Cutler says, Which way are you going to go, Cole? Shut up, Cutler, turn the cam off. <laughs> turn it off. Enough of my bod. It's or obviously dad bod. Where he's going to go. He's going with Red Dragon. Kenny's coming back. The Bucks yeah. are going to go with Kenny. Hangman's going to come back into the group as yeah. well. They're gonna, he's going to join back up with the Bucks. Save their asses. Yeah. Their Christian asses. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, next up, we had <clears throat> a match <clears throat> between Mercedes Martinez and Thunder Rosa. 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 She's sick, man. She's sick. Uh, yes. Again, Cobra Kai guy is in the crowd. In a no DQ match. Something cold from Cobra oh. Kai. Uh, Thunder Rose is dressed like Bruce Lee. I thought it was pretty cool. Good match. A few botches. But a good match anyway. Yeah. Um, BC match. Thunder Rose over the chair to the pipe early on. They both got a weapon each. Uh, Thunder thrown into the steps. Mercedes going into the guardrail. Thunder Rose off the crowd. Guardrail. They go up into the bleachers and she stands on the, the rail there and her, her fan holds her hand to jump off. Suplex onto the guardrail to Thunder Rosa. That was quite nice. Yeah. Two Thunder Rosa. 
No, it was the Mad Team. onto the guardrail, on the floor, two. by Martinez. Ah, yeah, two Thunder Rosa in there, my bad. Uh, chairs piled in the ring, all through the match, stunned by Thunder Rosa, table leg fell off. Yeah. Actually trying to set it up. Yeah. And it was a very bad improv improvisation as well. That yes. Time. It was terrible. It looked very bad. Thunder Rosa, hopefully you'll learn from that because you just <laughs> well, looked like did. an angry chick, she which is fair play. She looked into the ring face for another table. She and did. She was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but... You you did reasonably well to improvise. You come across like a very angry woman, which you would have been when yeah. you realised that your spot's fucked. Yeah, you know I mean? like, well, spot you know, as well. It would have um, been nice if you would like maybe pulled the guardrail a bit closer. I thought, I thought she was going to set it up as normal, but instead of like leaning it on the rail... Put a broken end on yeah. the ring yeah, yeah. yeah, and set the table up. Yeah, so, you know, but still, Easy well fucking improvised. Easy for us to say in fan, as a fan in the moment <laughs> yeah. as well, the adrenaline rush. But That's she'll learn from it because Thunder Rosa she just keeps getting better and better, much much quicker than Jade. Yeah, hundred percent. Fisherman She's Busters as well. on the slanty table looked mm -hmm. awesome in the end though. Yeah, <coughs> they slid down the table before it actually broke. Yeah. Chair to Thunder Rosa, Eight poor Hurricane off the uh, corner by Thunder Rosa. It was a very poor Thunder uh, Hurricane. Yeah. Drop kick to Binhead Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. I wish I thought about it in my notes. Brutal German off the top to Thunder Rosa, lands on her neck, look fucking brutal. Yeah. Absolutely brutal. Uh, Mercedes fucks up the elbow drop because she slips off the top, yeah, gets a two count. Looks like she could have shattered her lungs. So. Yeah, it really did. Like uh, Crucifix bomb to Mercedes from a, a battling Thunder Rosa, I will say that. Fire Thunder Driver on the chairs for the finish of the match. Thunder Rosa wins. I went with Thunder Rosa Man of the Match. Yeah, I agree. Thunder Rosa Man of the Match. A brilliant match seven. for both of them. And uh, guess what? Snap, brother. Seven Yowie Wowie moments. Uh, brilliant match. Brilliant storytelling. A lot of botches in it, but... There those, was a few botches. Those botches were, like, nothing you could do about it. It's like the slip off the top rope was a real bad botch, but at the yeah. same time, you slip. You can't help it. Yeah, well, we see now with uh, Matt Seidel's debut. Yeah, exactly. Debut Matt Seidel's a G, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So is Martinez, so... It was a good match. I wouldn't say it was a brilliant match, but... I'm, I am feeling again, though, it's like... You had the hardcore tag team match the other week. With uh, Ty Conti and Bunny and M. Roller. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like... It's about a month ago now. Yeah, it's like there's far too much hardcore coming into everything. Not just women's matches. Yeah. But a bit of everything now. It's like... Well, this is what I said to you. This is never thing with a pay-per-view on. But it'll be like... Oh. It's like too much gimmick. I want to see like I like gimmick, but like not too much. every week. Yeah, not I don't want to see much. gimmick every week. Like, exactly, like because it. it loses its power. Yeah, it absolutely. Like I said, Hell in a Cell was big back in the day because they'd be able to go, "I'm going to fight you in hell." Now it's a pay per view. Yeah. yeah, who cares? Yeah, exactly. Like same as Elimination Chamber. Yeah, you know, it just it kills everything out there. So it's got to be it's got to be done well. Like after the match, Thunder Rosa bows to Mercedes, which I thought was a nice little spot. Yeah, uh, Britt Baker comes out. Hate her and Rebel attack. Brick gives Mercedes a pipe. She hesitates to attack Thunder Rosa, so we're going to see Thunder Rosa and her team up soon. And I would imagine then Diamante is going to probably team onto that because she's that Latino type as well, but she's just an angry one. Yeah, but she's already had a beef and fallen out with Thunder Rosa. Uh, oh, was she? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, early on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, then we'll have to wait for her then because Martinez could basically bring her in and be like, oh, look, she is cool. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we would do. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, with Buzz. Oh no, no, Bigsy's eye like, I mean, yeah. Like, so, uh, hate and attack then, atta uh, hate and rebel then attack Mercedes Martinez. So, yeah, yeah next week it's going to be a tag match. Pretty standard, pretty obvious when they brought in the fucking sensei of Cobra Kai. Yeah, finish him. Yeah, I didn't like that. Uh, next up, we had House of Black waiting for someone, Buddy Murphy, apparently. Makes sense. He was in the background of the video. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if it was Buddy Murphy. He did look like him. I didn't see, him. I <laughs> I didn't didn't see anybody in the video, to be honest. I seen Malachi Black with paint on his face. I seen like some form of out, out of <laughs> shadow, but it could have been. As I didn't Black. see nobody. Oh, Malachi Black. I, I didn't see anybody. I where where I, in the video was it? I did not focus on him, mate. Like I'm only seeing it because well, people have got mental about it. Like, I mean, you're saying I, you've seen it. I didn't fucking see it. I only said it since I seen it because I'm pissed and I can't really remember. But well, that just makes me pissed <laughs> off. But yeah, I don't know what all the speculations about. I didn't see no face. I'm not that hyped on. So I seen of the Black. ghost in the film Ghost. I'm not. That, I'm not that first on the House of Black, mate. Like I said to you from day, like I've never really. Like I'm not against Malachi or. He's Alistair against Black. Malachi and Brody King. 
I don't even know who Rudy Hayes. Don't even know who they are, and he hates them. <laughs> but Alistair Black or Malachi Black I sucks. He's just not a fan of it. I like my missus. Can't really stand them. He thinks they're fucking shit. Fan of him. Just Doesn't not. like them at all. Not really bothering me. He cares none. I care. Basically. Absolutely fucking waste of space, he says his manager. Like, if they released him tomorrow, I, I wouldn't care. He thinks that they should fucking die! Fucking no, 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 no. That was no. a bit harsh, that was. That last one was a bit fucking harsh, that was. I mean, in WWE, Jesus then, yeah, for Vince, I right. would die, but... People who go around picking out people's eyes and stuff like that. Dude, oh, fucking hell, bro. Nasty shit. Next up, we had another promo. From Jay White. Uh, something, something, still my era. With this a DMD finger. He does a DMD finger. Does he? I yeah, he does. That. Still my era. Ah. So it's a DMD finger, isn't it? Yeah, it is, I suppose. Um, you didn't see that, did you? Homie? He disses Kenny Omega quite a lot, isn't he? Which you didn't know. I didn't. He I, says, to be honest, man, all I can see is like one of the others, like Adam Cole, Bobby Fish. <laughs> I just no, he does. He does make a difference because he is the new Japan guy. He's the Bullet Club guy. He is the actual Bullet Club guy now. Like the guy who's running it. But isn't Kenny Omega the Bullet? No. Co- oh, is it Cody? No, none of them are. They were they just ever since AEW. No, none of them. He has been the guy. I'll take your word for it. Because I watch lots of Japan wrestling. Do you? no. <laughs> Moving on to, to the, the main, main event, event of the Dynamite, the King of Dynamite, of Dynamite, which was for the TNT Championship. Why is he carrying two belts? JRD not like to show. It's because he won the interim championship and then he won the actual TNT championship back, okay? Thanks for that information, Jar. I think it was Darby Allen vs. Sammy Guevara. 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 Darby Allen. Guevara. 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 New York Skyline by Sammy G, which is actually called yes. Banner's Finish. I wrote that too. Says, sends Darby to the outside with booze. Bounced out like a fucking baby out of his pram. Oh, I need never smoke. Uh, Darby too, draped over the top rope. Then Sammy hits a spontan on the Darby, sending him outside off the rope, stringing him. That cool as well. Yeah. A coffin splash on the knee of Sammy. Then a corkscrew clamp by Darby. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Daddy works the knee on the in the ropes and on the buckle in the corner. Uh, Sammy hits a Spanish fly off the top, gets a two count. Super, super Spanish fly. All of his weight landing on Darby's ribs. Look yeah. brutal. Uh, Darby can count as a springboard into a figure four, which is quite nice. Throw some back and forth slaps as well in there. Uh, Darby counters the GTH into the last supper, gets a two count. Uh, Tope countered into a cutter by Sammy G on the outside with Boost. Boost. Darby obeys Sammy G doing a swanton off the top onto the ring apron. That looked good, that did. Yeah. Jose! Jumps on the ring apron. Sting takes him up. That would literally be my next one. <laughs> Jose! <laughs> Jose! <laughs> um, Andrade comes up, nails Darby on the top rope. With an him. iPad. It was an iPad, was it? It was an iPad. Awesome. He used to be sort of like hunched over the rope. Like Sammy Guerrero was like, oh, how did how did he? I didn't see it. How did he? I didn't don't see know. It? Well, how did he get knocked out on the fucking He's buckle? He's behind oh, he, you. He fell and bumped his head. Like He's behind you. Um, Shall yeah. I hit him? Shall I it's hit him? It's the GTH. Sammy wins. I went with Sammy Guerrero in the match. I went with Darby. Um, Hardy attacks Darby. After the match, Sammy makes the save and Drabi nails him from behind. With an iPad. I had six moments. And I exactly snapped your ass, motherfucker, with six. Great match until that prick and Drabi come out and ruined it. Pretty much. Can't do that, bro. Because we still haven't finished the segment. So, There's uh, nothing visual. <coughs> we all know what I'm doing. 
That's what we got about Dynamite. Pretty good show, I feel. I, I like that. Far too many promos. But uh, all the promos did make sense. They progressed storylines and whatnot. And some stuff even happened that I didn't even notice. Like Kenny Omega and something or other. And you're just doing it on the blog. <laughs> Whatever. Send my girl. <clears throat> Who's gonna be spinning now? Me. Yes, I am. Yes, I, yes, I am. Who's gonna be spinning now? Cause he don't drink anymore. Me. But he's Big Z. Spinning, spinning, spin, spinning, spinning, spin. The room is spinning, spin, spinning, spinning, spin. Oh. <laughs> what? I didn't break mine. Huh? I didn't break mine. Oh, right, that one's empty in your hands, yeah? Yeah. Ah, the taste of mixing your beer. I love it. Raw sewage. I love it. What? Well, I love it. Raw sewage. Raw sewage. I love it. Your fault for drinking shit in the first place. I drink Foster's mate because it's, it's crap. Cheap. It's cheap. I know it's cheap, but it's cheap because it's crap. It's cheap and I, I can't afford to buy nice things. It does. So Don't make me feel bad, man. I can't afford right? nice things. The Heineken, right, is like 20p more and you get six of those mini cans. It's fucking horrible. How is it? I don't know. How is it it's kills me. It smashes me up, bro. And it's stronger. Mmm. <laughs> yes, I'm not an alcoholic anymore. No, I used I know. to be. I know that. Like, the, the stronger that it is, man, doesn't impress me anymore now. What impresses now. me is not waking up with a fucking headache. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why or even just... spinning out after that's three years. years. Foster's uh, gives me all that shit because it's so sugary, though. Uh, like, it's yeah, no, I, I, I get that. Like, Pass me a lighter and let's start the shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to stab this shit. <laughs> let's start the shit. Oh, I think I'll stab me, base. Yeah, let's start the shit. Got no notes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all the news though. I have got the news. It's funny enough in a space after I left the rampage. So moving on to the news. Have you unpaused it? Yeah, well, right. I paused it ages ago when I started rapping. All right. So now we are going to move on to rampage <laughs> and all that shit. And opening it off, we had. Adam Cole. Let me say it. Bay, Bay. Adam Cole versus. Buster Rhymes. <laughs> Brian Danielson. Woo! Ten of the Dark Order. Just one of them, though. Preston <laughs> Vance. <laughs> Just Preston Vance on his own versus Adam Cole. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's all the notes I've got on it. Do I talk to you? Uh, BCJ for boy 10. Uh, Cole <laughs> wicks the leg around the post. This is this thing. 10 counters to the Panama Sun boys for the backdrop. Well, well. That was a beastie one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That was a beast. Um, then a beastie discus lariat, which you were. Oof! Yeah, I was it. Yeah. Because Pixie watched it on this, you know, a different phone. A tiny little puny phone. You talked all over your own. Yeah, I talked all over your own. It's terrible. I was doing all sorts of derogatory things. Derogatory. The word, that's good word. The, good that's word. the word I was looking for. I didn't say it. More people should use that in AW. Derogatory. Uh, a weak spear catching call coming off the top rope. What did he do? Start on Monday and finish on Sunday? No, it's because he was selling a leg in it, so it was like a crap spear. Oh, I thought it was a weak spear. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, no. I shouldn't. I, I, I can't say anything back because then I'll be his missus. <laughs> on my system nope wasn't it was just 100% sexist just on the edge 100% sexist I'll deal with that um, 10 ragdolls no not 10 ragdolls 10 actually ragdolls I love that move man round he faces forces Aubrey into the rope while he's like in ragdoll enabling that ball kick Let's to the kick of the balls. <laughs> okay, Yoda. Low blow. Hits the boom. Cole wins. I went with... Ten man of the match for me. Well, boom. Ten man of the match. Ten man of the match. Uh, we had two... Yeah, we won. I went with three. You went with three. 
I have got a note. <laughs> Red Dragon. After the match. Came down after the match. I knew this bit though. <clears throat> I wrote this bit down in my To celebrate. Memory. That was it. Yeah. I knew that was I knew that was the case. Next up what was big? <laughs> we had, we had a promo. You know. Um which was leading into a match. Yep. Uh between um I can't remember it was a qualifying match. It was uh Randy Orton. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> I've gone on it. Oh, Will Hobbs versus Randy Orton Dante in Marley. a qualifying match for <laughs> the Revolution Ring. <laughs> no, Dante, Dante Martin. 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 Randy Orton is a G, but he is on WWE. Fuck Vince, unfortunately. Unfortunate, like, not fuck Vince. That's pretty fortunate. Fortunate, fuck Vince. Unfortunate, Randy Orton is on the AEW. Yeah, unfortunately. But anyway, it was a qualifying match. It was Danny Man. It was Will Hobbs. Taz was on commentary to give that little bit of a storyline to it. It was a pretty good match. Right? Stacks. It was a good match. Um, Hobbs with the whole hell and heat gimmick. Yeah, didn't see that. Didn't know. No, that. Um, his costume. Oh, okay. All oh, right. Okay, I didn't didn't look clock that with the commentary. Yeah. Very fiery. It just looked very fiery, and then I I clocked this straight away, and uh, Taz yeah. was like, "Yeah, hey, hot man. like my man's fucking ringing." Ring attire. Did he swear? No. Oh. He said like ring attire Jones, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's Jones when it goes yeah. to tires these days. Um Hobbs um flattens down in the corner. Hobbs counters the springboard by shoving down his foot off the, the top rope, which looked quite weak by Dan he, he showed that he could see it coming. Um Hobbs so his eyes. Knocks Dan A from the apron to the outside, then throws Dante from the floor back into the ring, showing his strength. And then two two big beastly beals. Beal. Yeah, uh, one, the first one was good, man. Dante just went like that. Good hand <clears throat> point. He was like Tony Hawks in a game with cheats on that's got no gravity. <laughs> Blood everywhere. Mm. Gets it fine. Yeah. That's um. <laughs> My ankle, my ankle. Seems fine. Nice um, springboard European uppercut by Dante off the top rope. Tornillo from the top to the outside by Dante. Shotgun dropkick off the top by Dante. Then a spine oh, buster by nice. Hobbs. Wins. Hobbs, man of the match for me. Four moments for me. Just the fuck bins. Just moment. the fuck bins. I'm gonna go with four. And then we had Tony Schiavone Tony interviewing Big C's crush. I, I I literally when I was watching this I said you can do this bit, can't you, Dawes? Benny. Benny's hot. hot. Fucking Jake. Benny's hot. Oh yeah, J Benny turns up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Jake Cargill going, Who's next? <laughs> who's next? I ain't Goldberg, who's next? Yeah. What? You're not Goldberg, but who's next? Yeah. Okay, um, Matt Hardy comes out, says, I can make a many, many match, many match, Benny, Benny, anything with Benny is money for me, Benny's hot, yeah. Benny's sick. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to get injured though, isn't she? <laughs> I was thinking, boy, let's sign Nia Jax, and have Nia Jax versus this Jay week. every day. Yeah, for a week. I'm up for it. Well, probably just a match, right? Yeah, well, I one match, match that's what I'm saying. <laughs> one match, Nia Jax versus Jade. Well, the one in the wheelchair, hold on, the match haven't happened yet. Mm. That's a bit harsh. It was harsh, but... Oh, harsh, so but, but she's really, really good. Um, really, really good. Really, really chair. Deep versus Angelica Risk in the five-minute challenge. Now, if you have watched any of the episodes of Greenhouse, which I doubt you have, Angelica Risk, I do rate. She has been doing well in all her matches, I think, on that. Yeah, I don't like her look. No, her look is shit. And I told her to stop doing the fucking shaky ass thing She needs well. to drop those pin things in her yeah. cheeks as well. Yeah, obviously, because, because I just want to rip her face <clears> off. <throat> is that a sexual thing? or? No, that's just like, like there's things there, pull me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, like Jeff Hardy when he stuck a finger in his yeah. ear before. Like, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Deeb is sick anyway. Just to clarify, it was not a sexual thing. <laughs> it really, really wasn't. <laughs> wink, anyway, wink. The <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, wink, man. Yeah, I, know, I, I heard you, mate. I heard you. You guys are wank, wank. Uh, Deep offers herself 
<laughs> Sacrificial Deeb. <laughs> Deeb offices us that work for us. <laughs> These are real notes, like we didn't plan. It's brilliant. Uh, Deeb offers us that work for us. The count is, you know, she was offering herself up, like, come and get she, me. I, I'm offering herself up for <laughs> risk. I'm the big... <laughs> I don't make their names, mate. <laughs> it, sounds, it does sound sexual. <laughs> Deep offers herself up for risk. What, what's, what does risky mean? Anything you'd like, baby. <laughs> come on, dude, finish your notes. God. <laughs> Which I would, because Serena <laughs> Deep is hot. She is hot. <laughs> if you pull Risk's his face off, she's hot too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Deep offers herself up for Risk. But Cal is. Because she was offering herself, you know, come get me, come get me. Just say your fucking me. notes, man. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Back and forth on the outside. <laughs> Using the guardrails. I'm uh, 15. You're 17. <laughs> no. <laughs> deep, deep catapults <laughs> on the bottom rope. Uh, pulls wrist up from the pin. Doing a typical heel move. What? By a, by a cheek pin? <laughs> Pulled it up by a pin? Big power bomb. Serenity lock. Deep wins. Deep man of the match. Deep man of the match. At this point, Dorsey was talking so much, I couldn't pay attention to anything. But X, I instigated the conversation. X, X, X. Let's we're going to talk about that. Um, yeah, five minute challenge. She's a match. Oh, yeah, I only had one. Moment. Uh, yeah, I, I had one as well. It was the part where I said the uh, offers herself. And um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we had a, a box and me the recap promo again. Again, final line. I don't be with no one until I bleed with them. Yeah, and that's not a sexual thing. No, that's not. Fucking Renee while she's on at all. Oh, dude, man, let's just leave it to the imagination. Then we had the, the Mark Henry Thick. split screen promo with the forbidden door opener, Jay White. Now, damn, for the main of it! And Trent. Of the evening! Because <laughs> the split screen promo, it was decent, it was alright. Jay White said a lot of facts, Trent said a lot of facts. Moving on. Uh, nice release, Northern Lights by Trent. Back and forth on the outside, using the guardrails for lots of spots. And then a suplex by Trent to the outside. Uh, Trent slammed to the apron by Jay. Nice submission into the... Nice load of submissions by uh, Jay White into the Indian Deathlock by me. And a snap back to back by Jay. A bow Jay? A boy Jay? A boy Jay? Jay. Jay. Oh, so no. on this like, blog already. We've had racism, we've covered BJ. porn, we've covered everything. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Trent spin broad, moonsault to the outside, but Jay doesn't catch Trent at all. I didn't see it. He's, he goes like that, and Trent goes... <laughs> he's like that. Oh! <laughs> he tries, he like dies over it. No. no it's it. literally, like, if anything, he injured himself trying to help him, and Trent just... Splashed on the on the lovely soft Absolutely little tiny concrete. map and concrete. Flatliner then a journey gets a two for J. J count as a spear with a knee to the face on the outside. You've seen knee that. You were like that fucking beast. Yeah, that was beast. Then a overhook <clears throat> suplex into the guardrail and a chair which snaps in half. I so, didn't see that either. Yeah, it was it was like set on the guardrail and when they threw it, the chair just snapped and like. Top of it stuck to the top of the guardrail, and the bottom of it went underneath the guardrail. Yeah. Could have been dangerous, but it wasn't, thankfully. Um, then an overhook suplex into the guardrail. No, I just said that. Half and half, then a running knee. Gets a two for Trent. Trent gets two with a power driver. Jay hits the blade runner, which is his finish for those of you that didn't know. I didn't know. Jay wins. I love my Jay man a match. And I'm going to go with Trent because I like him. I like Trent too, but Jay was better. Uh, Jay and Orange face <coughs> off at the end of a match, kind of leading for a never match. Yo. Well, that was all very interesting. I will watch Rampage tomorrow when I get home. <coughs> because uh, I haven't I missed the show. Over. I don't think I've missed the show at all since AEW's inception. 
so far. You've got the biggest cotton mouth going all by Euro. Tidy, I like it. But now, I can't really say it was a good rampage or not. It was decent. The first mm -hmm. match was sick. Uh, the main event was sick. The in between matches were Serena Deeb, which is only a five minute challenge, but who She's doesn't want to see Serena Deeb? Yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. The other match was crap, whatever it was. Jade. Was it Jade? No. Oh. It was a. Uh, Surprised at that. Where's the um, incendiary device? Was it uh, Hobbs versus Danny. Was a lady stick. I've got it in my Oh, shit. Well, that's all we've got to put on Rampage. So now we're going to move on to the rumours of wrestling. Rah. Rumours. First up, over to you. Oh, well, let's start off with Biggie then. Yeah? Go for it. Cody and Brandy released from AEW. We're not going to focus too much on all the other stuff because we are going to do a total non-stop talk on it after this show. Yes. But a uh, lot of speculation, a lot of rumour, a lot of a lot of like scenarios people are coming up with and stuff like that. We've got our own, which we will talk about in a moment. Uh, next up, Stone Cold is teasing a return at WrestleMania 38. Yes. Also against Brock Lesnar is the rumour. Uh, I heard Kevin Owens. I heard. But I don't I watch. I much prefer it to be Kevin Owens. It's I not going to be Brock match. Lesnar because Brock Lesnar is going to be fighting Roman Reigns in a <coughs> match. Yeah. So, yeah, but it uh, could be good. It'd be nicer if he turned up and fought Danhausen, called Steve and all. But uh, I think it happened. No. But, uh, anyway, next bit of news: Carlos Cabrera sacked from WWE after 29 years of service uh, service as a Spanish announcer. announcer. Yeah, fought a record, wasn't he? Yeah, that's quite harsh. Damn, yeah, no. I mean, after 29 years, they do need a change, yeah. They do. But did they really need to get rid of him? Couldn't they have found something else for him to do? Like after being that long serving. Do you know what I mean? You know, they might give him a nice package to leave. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, but still. Uh, over to you. Uh, my last bit of, new, little bit of news, which kind of coincides with my first bit of news, which we'll talk again, talk on TNT. Uh, ECW. ECW, EC3, EC3 and Braun Strowman starting Adam wrestling. Schur. And who? Adam Schur. Who's that? And Braun Strowman. Oh, I said Braun Strowman. No, I know, I just... <laughs> just uh, they're starting their own wrestling company. And they've actually got a TV deal. Well, has it been... I think he's confirmed there, yeah. He is confirmed. Happy days. An hour it's long. It's called uh, Control Your Narrative. Yeah. C-Y-N. Which is a bit of a weird. Yeah. C-Y-N. C-Y... But saying that, WWE haven't got a chance either of their but that's because they're shit. Could be good. There is other news. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Shane McMahon apparently have bumped heads in a good way and apparently are st starting to talk about their own show. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, that it? could that could just be hoo-ha. I think it is when it comes to Shane McMahon these days. If it was going to happen, you would have done it already. Yeah. Why wait until Tony Khan starts this before you go, oh, I'll start my own company now. Well, it could be... Could be a storyline apart there, can it? Yeah, it could be. You know, but... Tony Khan ends up buying it. Yeah. But it's all funded by Tony Khan already. Never know. Uh, next bit of news Jeff Jarrett has bought a baseball team. They are the Springfield L Slides from Illinois. This one to play for him. I don't know. Maybe. Springfield, huh? Yeah. Could be Bart. A bit more athletic. Simpson. Run by Jack Everett and his wrestling friends. <laughs> <laughs> and the last bit of news I've got is Devon has had, had yes. successful surgery uh, no of wrestle. spine fusion and he cannot wrestle. But he can basketball against his kids. So that's um, that's cool. Let's be fair, Devon was going to wrestle anyway. If he was, he was going to do it. Why not? Yeah, he's not going to do it. Anymore. He's happy in his producer's job. But uh, that's all I've got. I've got no more news. No, I haven't got any more. I didn't really read today. I should have, but I didn't. Um, it's been a great show. Yeah, it's been good. It's been nice being in the same room. Lovely, talking about Paul and Grace. Yeah. It's been great. Yeah. It's always insightful on this show. Never, never a dull moment. But 
Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you everybody who comments, thank you anybody who's done anything to help us do this vlog. Uh, we've got many other shows that one of them is discontinued now because it's just fucking hard to watch, being uh, the greenhouse. Uh, we've got merchandise memoirs, we've got a couple of other videos, we're going to have a couple of other bits and pieces that are coming up soon. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for liking and all that jazz, and catch you next week. Stay safe, peace peeps, and fuck Vince. Fuck Vince. Fuck Vince. Fuck Vince. Pretty angry now, I love you. Yeah. 102. Oh, I don't have to be 102 at all. <clears throat> the end.